It's time folks, Anthropic is finally back again with a new model release, introducing the Claude Haiku 3.5 model. Now this is a new release, a part of the 3.5 series where they have now upgraded their older Haiku model. This is now their fastest model delivering advanced coding tool use and reasoning at a reasonable price. Not just that, they released a couple of new updates with the new computer use API, a new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet update, and so much more. Now I know this video is specifically about Cloud's new Haiku model, but something cool to note a part of the new computer API is where developers can now direct Cloud to use computers the way people do. By looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking and typing text. This is a video that I'm going to be releasing today, so stay tuned. But what we're going to be doing now is taking a further look at the new Haiku model. So stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Now, like I mentioned at the start, Claude 3.5 Haiku is going to be their fastest and most affordable model from Anthropic, where it now replaces the 3.0 Haiku model as Anthropic's fastest and most cost-effective model. This model is a game changer, especially for coding tasks, where it outshines many of the state-of-the-art -of models, including the original Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4 Omni, with significant improvements in speed as well as accuracy. It's designed to handle complex tasks with ease while maintaining low latency and affordability. Now, currently, the Claude 3.5 Haiku is not available, but it should be in the coming weeks. So stay tuned on that, where I'm going to be making a lot of videos on this new coding-based model, where it's going to be uh, customized to have it integrated within frameworks like Klein as well as Ader. And this is going to be super powerful in many ways. So stay tuned with that. So now let's take a look at the comparison of model benchmarks across different models, including the Claude 3.5 Haiku, the original Claude 3 Haiku, GPT-4 Omni Mini, and Gemini 1.5 Flash. Now, there's a lot of key performance highlights that we will see within this benchmark test, where we can clearly see that the Claude 3.5 Haiku performs exceptionally well in coding tasks as well as multilingual math, where it outperforms other models in agentic coding and achieving one of the highest code human evil scores. Now, in reasoning over text, it shows a solid performance with an F1 score of 83.1%. Now, if we go further in detail to see these scores, now we can easily note out that it is exceptional at coding capabilities. People might not realize this right now, but it is scoring an agentic score of 40.6, which is quite high. And this basically means that excels in agentic coding tasks, where it outperforms models like Claude 3 Haiku, as well as even competitive models such as GPT-4 Omni. Now on Code Human Evil, it delivers superior results in coding tasks, making it the go-to choice for developers looking for a reliable AI programming assistant, as well as using it for code generation. Now, this is something that is quite cost-effective and quite fast, so this could be definitely a new reliable option to use in comparison to other models that you might be using right now. Something great to note is that the Claude 3.5 Haiku is something that has the same cost or similar speed as Claude 3 Haiku, but this time they've upgraded the model so that it surpasses even Claude 3 Opus, which is Anthropic's largest previous model on many intelligent benchmarks. Now, this 3.5 Haiku is something that shines quite well at coding tests where it achieves remarkable scores from even Sway Bench as well as outperforming state-of-the-art agents, as well as models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet or even GPT-4 Omni. Now with low latency, there is improved and better instruction following, which basically means that there will be more precise, accurate use cases of tool use. This is where the Claude 3.5 Haiku is perfect for user-facing products, specified for sub-agent tasks, as well as generative uh, generative personalized experiences. So this is something that will be great for large data sets like purchase histories or inventory records. And it's something that could be used for building AI powered applications or handling complex data. This is something that will provide you better, uh, I would say speed, power and efficiency. Now on Twitter, as I was scrolling, I found this image that's showcasing the pricing structure for the new Claude model. 
Now, this is where it is pricing the Claude 3.5 Haiku as 0.25 cents per million tokens, which represents a dramatic shift in AI accessibility and affordability. Now, do your own research. I'm not too sure if this image is actually authentic, but it marks a great potential if it is true because it is one twelfth of the cost of the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model while maintaining a robust 200k context window and offering a 50% batch API discount. Now, this Haiku model will combine high performance with unprecedented cost effectiveness. This price point could be revolutionary for businesses as well as regular use case uh, for regular use case, which is going to make large scale AI processing more financially viable for startups, developers, or even just regular users. It is the fastest, most cost effective model from Anthropic, and this is a great pricing strategy that could catalyze a broader AI adoption across industries. Now, let's see if this is actually real. I'm going to be posting more about this if this is true on the Twitter, so stay tuned on that. And like I mentioned before, this is something that will be available later this month across first party APIs. You have Amazon Bedrock as well as Google Cloud's Vertex AI. Now, this is where it's going to be initially as a text only model, but will soon or later have incorporation of image input support. Now, that's essentially it for today's video on the Claude 3.5 Haiku. I still have a couple of videos to make on the new Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, which has been upgraded, as well as the new computer use API. These are huge upgrades from Anthropic, and I have a lot of respect for them for continuously working on improving a lot of their tools as well as their models. They have been continuously working on upgrading all of these different things, so huge props to them. But that's basically it, guys. Definitely stay tuned on the new updates that I'm going to be releasing. This is essentially a really good model that has a really great capability at coding as well as with various sorts of agentic tasks. It's something that is quite cost effective and something cool I want to take a look at as a picture that has been posted by Pytro. Claude 3 Opus was the model that I was leading, but now we have a lot of these older models being upgraded and taking over the new spotlight. It just goes to show how great Anthropic has been over the past couple of months, and they're going to still keep on releasing newer and better models. So definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do with the Claude 3.5 Opus. But that's essentially it for today's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord as well as different AI subscriptions for free. Make sure you follow me on the Twitter page so that you can access daily AI news. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the landscape of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.